Hello everyone. Now this is a look I've been wanting to do for quite a long time, but I have kept putting it off mainly because I'm I have been quite nervous because Betty Davis is probably my favourite woman in the entire world. But um, a couple of days ago marked the uh, birthday of Miss Davis, her 103rd birthday. So I thought, um, and unfortunately I was busy on that day. I wasn't going to do it on that day, but I was busy on busy on that day. Um, so I thought just to pay homage to her, and she's such a great actress and like one of my heroes. Um, I thought I'd do a tutorial based on Betty Davis, so I hope you enjoy. Right, I've already done my foundation, just, just to save time really, and I use Revlon Colorstay in Buff. And basically, if you want to recreate this look, you want a foundation which is the lightest foundation you can find, like lightest tone, and you need one with really good coverage. Now next I'm going to blank out my brows. So I'm going to use the soapy spoolie technique. And basically all that means is just wetting, wetting your spoolie and rubbing it on the soap. And what this will do is sort of, it will flatten your brows and keep them in place. And then I'm just going to brush my foundation over the brows. Okay, I got my base more or less done. Now, Miss Davis is a film career spanned six decades, so I'm pretty spoiled for choice of what film I'm going to choose. But I've decided to choose, um, take my inspiration from her film of Human Bondage. Um, now, this was the first film that really gave Betty her like critical acclaim, and it really made her a star. She had she had appeared in about 20, 25 films beforehand, um, but of Human Bondage was like the first film to really like give her a name. Um, now in it, Betty plays a, a waitress who, f towards throughout the film, she becomes sick both in the head and like physically, and she gets uh, drawn into prostitution. Um, so this isn't the most flattering look. In fact, I, f I, I think I read somewhere that um, Betty Davis actually designed her own makeup for this look, and she she wanted it to look as authentic as possible. So she wanted Mildred, that's her character, to look really ill and really um, not right so this isn't the most flattering makeup and it's not going to be for everyone but um, it's Betty Davis so she's cool right I'm going to start off the base of my eyes I've got a paint pot from MAC this is quite natural and I'm just going to just take it right over the lid this is just going to give you a, a base help my eyeshadow stick. Now taking another uh, paint pot, this is black ground from MAC and I'm going to take this really close to the lash line just roughly Now with these paint pots, you don't have to be neat because we're going to put eyeshadow on the top of them. This is just a, a background for your eyeshadows. Now you're probably wondering why have I put 20 slash 30s makeup. The reason why is because I put 30s because this film was released in the 30s. But I've put 20s because this, this makeup is very heavily 20s inspired. So that's the reason why. Now because the film is in black and white, it's often difficult to tell which shade were used but in the 20s 30s um, lots of grey ashy colours were used um, but sometimes they were brown sometimes they were grey I'm not too sure but so in this look what I'm going to do is actually going to mix two colours together something like a grey brown so I've got um, Bobby Brown Birch it's like an ashy brown and I'm going to be mixing it with uh, this one by MAC it's a grey shade it's called uh, Steen and a MAC 217. So start on the outer corner and come right in. And to really help with the 20 looks, you want to come right far into the nose and come up high. So 
Okay, so you really want to darken in there. And leave that a tiny bit of highlight for your brow. And then what I'm going to do is just take it just, just lightly underneath the... Underneath. Next I've got this uh, shade from MAC, it's called Typographic, it's a very, very, very deep grey. And I've got a tapered brush from Louise Young. And I'm just going to start off with just right in the socket, just taking it... Just take it right into the socket. And then just blending it further out using my 217. I told you it wasn't flattering. Now we're going to move on to a light shade. I've got um, Vanilla by MAC. And I'm just going to just take this onto the lid. This is just going to highlight. And I'm applying this with just a... It's just a... I don't know what it is. It's just I got it from Superdrug. It's a nice shadow brush of some sort. Now we're going to move on to the brows, and I'm actually still going to be using my typographic on a Louise Young angle brush because Betty had really dark eyebrows in this and they were quite fine. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going over, just slightly over where my natural brow was just to give me a bit of a lift and I'm going to take it quite finely because Betty had really thin brows. And I'm just going to take the typographic just just underneath on the bottom lash line. Next I've got a gel liner from Bobbi Brown and I'm going to apply this very close to the lash line. And what I'm going to do is usually when I when you do use a gel liner you really want a, like a really fine and neat line. This makeup, not about this makeup, was really neat. So I'm just sort of going to flick it like it's sort of a, sort of a messy, like a messy line, because I'm pretty sure Mildred wouldn't wouldn't have been in the best state when she was doing her makeup. So it doesn't matter if you don't get it neat. And I'm also gonna, and I'm also gonna take it, take it right down. Now to make all the boys think you're a spy, you're going to want a white eyeliner and really get in there, help you to create the really big eyes that Betty had. Mascara and don't worry if you clump it. In fact, the more you clump it the better it's going to look. Now, false lashes, Betty loved them. So I've just got um, these false lashes. These are from the Ilya Natural Lights. Now, this isn't recommended usually, but if you just sort of dab your mascara right on top of the falsies, it help that, you know, sort of clumpy effect. Now the lips in the 20s and 30s were often a very specific shape and they were often made quite small to make the eyes help make the eyes pop. Um, so because we're going for a different eye shape, sorry, different lip shape, sorry, um, I'm just going to put some concealer over my lips just to blank them out. Now it's a very dark lip. So I've got a lip liner from Barry M, this is number 11. So I'm just going to start off by just lining, like just on the cupid's bow, and then I'm gonna come down, but don't. I'm not gonna go all the way 
on my natural lip line. I'm going to start just halfway. I'm just going to fill in. My lipstick I'm going to use is going to be this one from MAC. It's from, uh, it's called Kittenish. It's from the Fabulous Felines collection they did last year. Now a red lippy, this is MAC Ruby Woo. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed my Betty Davis In of Human Bondage inspired look. Um, now, this is going to be um, my last tutorial for a week because I'm actually heading off my skiing holiday uh, this weekend. Um, so I'll be away for a week. So, um, yeah, so in case you're wondering where I am, that's where I'll be. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all well and I hope you have a um, lovely Easter if I don't get any films done by Easter. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.